Lee, yo, what it goddamn be, yo? It is me, it is she, it is Vera. Yes, indeed, it is Scorpion Reds. Tyro, I am back at it again, one time for the one time, just to let you know what we doing for February 2020, baby. It show me the money energy. Yes, God. Okay, you hear me, boo? Okay? I hope all of y'all have been deliciously good, all right? Deliciously good and divine, honey. You already know. So... Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my OGs. Thank you to every last one of y'all who has come on through and clicked this video. Thank you so much for showing me all the love and support. Y'all know we have a lot of amazing decks here which have been donated by you guys. I got some awesome books that just came in as well. You guys sent me the Mercury Retrograde book. Thank you guys so much. Like this is amazing right here. Like I haven't gotten to that one yet because I've actually started reading the what is this here the moonology book I have the moonology decks too so like I love it I love it and it really goes in depth in regards to all of the different lunar cycles and just like moon phases and stuff I've already started this book like I really really like this book and especially like if you guys want like a introduction to like how to like manifest and things like that you guys could pick this book up this is a really really nice book so y'all check this out and thank you guys so much for sending this to me through the amazon wish list i appreciate all the support um so if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading you can always feel free to do so by clicking the about tab or my booking price list my contact information y'all know that if you want to book with me um connect with me through instagram okay or you can send me a message on my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com if you guys do not have instagram or do not want to use Use your Instagram. You can feel free to um, connect with me on Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download. Um, if you don't want to keep it afterwards, you can delete it. Um, and only thing you need to connect with me is our email. So again, that's scorpionreds at gmail.com. That's scorpionreds at gmail.com. So um, if you guys have any questions, just reach out to me. Um, if you guys want to send some love to the page, again, thank you for all of the books, all of the donations. It's helped me be able to have a good rotation of decks here and you know, just keep up with my equipment and everything like that. If you guys want to send any type of love, these videos resonate. And, um, you know, just want to send a thank you, some thank you love. Um, all that information is in the about tab as well. Um, so, thank you guys again. And we're going to continue moving to what, um, what is Buzz like it said? To infinity and beyond, bitch. Okay? We're doing this. We are reloaded. So, let's get into this. Let's say a quick prayer over the energy. All right? Leo, Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. We thank you so much for the strength, for the determination, for the endurance. You know, we keep that back arched. We keep it up strong. And, you know, listen, you know how people say, stand up straight. Keep your back arched. No, no, no. Chest out. Like, nah. Like, we, we wake up like that, baby. We do a good stretch. Ugh. Okay, we get that good stretch on, baby. We keep our head up and our chest up high, just everything back arch like that. TTG trained to go, like we been ready. We we was been set on ready. You know, we was made to do this. It's like I feel like y'all ready to bulldoze through something. I don't know what the hell. I just it, it's like I'm taking charge. Like okay, all right, Leo. <laughs> what the hell? Um, but. It seems like like Leo has this energy where they just like it's like a mild manner aggressiveness. It's like you know you kind of winking at people like yeah mm hmm go ahead and keep sleeping on me because yeah I ain't gonna run my mouth and tell you what I'm about to do. You just about to see everything just blah 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 just like you know just along the bridge just blah blah just fall right on down on your face so you ain't got to sit here and listen to me if you want to because i'm gonna tell you one time what's about to happen baby Abby. you gonna listen or you just going you know break out it's just going to hit you just like a ton of bricks okay so <laughs> yo what do it be i want to get into these cards father god because i'm getting i'm getting on these channels and stuff doing this prayer <laughs> okay anyway 
Father, listen, you already see what mode Leo was on, okay? All right? I heard seven rings, baby. I need them seven rings, okay? I'm that beast out here, okay? Seven rings, like seven, seven ring champion or something. So, listen, I don't know, like, where did Jordan, did Jordan get six or seven rings? It's like, whatever, however many Jordan got, they want to get more than Jordan. So, if Jordan got six rings, he's a six ring champion, they want to be seven rings. You know what I'm saying? If he was seven rings, they want eight rings. So, you understand? Like, they try and beat the last greatest. Like, that's what I'm hearing. It's like, it's 2020. It's time to, like, set the stage for some new champions out here. So, like, Father God, we on Beast Mode, all right? Give us guidance for Leos. Like, I don't even really think I need any cards. Like, oh my gracious. Like, they are just, like, sending me too much energy. Father God, bless it. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get, especially this part I was going off with them for. <laughs> I'm, I just feel like this is going to be a very interesting reading. All right, give me guidance for my Leos. Would it be? Would it be, yo? Would it be, baby? Ooh. Hold on. What are you saying? Hot cold Medina? Who the fuck? Hold on. Why do I feel like I, I've heard Hot Cold Medina before? Is that like motherfucker Tone Loke or some shit? What am I doing? Okay, I can't. Okay, let's just, let's just focus here. This is was the card that was on top. Okay, embrace, embrace. Okay, through each other you find missing pieces. Embrace. Hold on. What the fuck is is that? What is it? So they're trying to play this Tone Loke song in my head. It's like he's like, I pulled up on this girl. And something, something, something. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 And she said, dun, dun. Dun, 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 I don't know what the words is, but it's like, the dude trying to tell me like how he pulled up on Slim and like straight Vanessa, like Stone Cold Medina or something. Someone stole Cole Medina. What was you stole Cole Medina out there? Like you was like the baddest little Joan. And he like, <laughs> he like telling me like I pulled up on this girl. And she, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. And then like, oh my goodness. Look at this picture, y'all. It's like she's giving him the love that he needs, okay. Giving you the best that I got. Baby, we love to... I don't know what the hell she said, bitch. Don't know. Do anybody know what uh, Anita Baker said in the show? show what the fuck was that? Okay, bitch. Don't nobody know what the fuck that bitch was saying. But we was liking the embrace. We was liking the way that was feeling when she was singing all of that shit. Like, okay. Like, I feel like whoever... Whoever this is that Leo is being embraced by at the moment I feel like they had to like straight finesse their way into this embrace into this connection with all of this blue here it is a lot of peace and harmony and just like I feel like this person had to really put their strong Mac, their strong Mac game down like on this person Stone Cold Medina is like, I don't know, maybe this is someone that's older and that this just like maybe back in, maybe they were, their heyday was back when uh, 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 Tone Loke and Luke and shit was out. <laughs> like, I don't know, because I'm, that's why I'm getting that music. Because I don't listen to that music, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, that got me laughing so hard. This nigga is called this bitch Stone Cold Medina. Honey, he said, girl, it's some girl. He said something about your waist and these pants. It's just the way that your ass, like, you can see the ass and the hips and the waist and just everything from the front. It's just like, you stone cold. Like, you bad. Like, you you, you cold. Like, you, you see this blue? Like, yeah, she cold out here. Like, yes. That's like some old school saying, like, somebody cold. It says, close your eyes and 
Tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay? Tell yourself that you deserve Miss um, Stone Cold, Funky Cold Medina, Stone Cold Medina. You, de you deserve Miss, De Miss, okay? Come on now, shit. You deserve, why am I putting this on the back? I feel like I need, because I don't never do that. But I feel like I need to see these pictures, honey. Mmm. Wow. I feel like, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like, he's just being embraced by this feminine energy, and I feel like he really loves it. Ooh, okay, let's keep going, y'all. I'm sorry. Give me more guidance for these Leos. Oh, oh, okay. So what does this say? It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So, ooh, and look at, and look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Y'all are in love. It's some loving ass shit. It's like some real deep connected passionate and shit right there it's just basically saying like she loving on you you loving on her i feel like this is just natural with this tree in the middle with this tree hugging situation i feel like this is like a very natural connection um i feel like just don't smother each other because i feel like i had to tell somebody else that i forget which reading it was it was like allow your love to breathe like don't Especially if y'all are just meeting each other and stuff like that. And if this is y'all's first Valentine's Day with each other and things like that. Like, don't go and create no babies or nothing like that. Y'all just fucking like jackrabbits like every day, every night. Like, y'all just fucking like crazy. It's just like all this sexual energy going on where y'all like kind of burn each other out. And then it's healing at the bottom. It says healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. I don't necessarily feel. Then and I just sit up there and say, I said, don't be out here about to have no baby. And look at him. But it's. It, I'm trying to tell y'all this. This. This motherfucking God. It make me feel like someone is like praying over somebody's stomach or something like wishing for a baby or something and this was saying something about some type of circumstances or something like things is going to be good regardless of some circumstances and then and then i was about to lay it down and then it says wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course i'm trying to tell you it's a, it's a lot of real natural things going on. And you see that purple and just, oh, it's just a lot of purples. It's a lot of blues. It's a lot of white. I really feel like this is a connection where people really, really are vibing and feeling each other. This is a very natural connection. I feel like they're trying to tell you guys to just kind of take your time. Allow her to show you her connection. Allow yourself to be connected and show your connection you know this is natural you guys are going to grow together so just like kind of let it kind of let it happen naturally i really do feel like there's a masculine energy that's praying for kids like maybe they feel like this person could be the mother of their kids but just wait you know like it says listen you guys are going to be you know you guys are going to be a force to reckon with together. Trust me. It's his way. Don't rush it. Remember, I told you, just allow everything to just happen naturally. But it's like he kind of worships her body. He wants to create something <laughs> with his body, baby. And she's sleeping and she's thinking of and, she, and she's dreaming of the love that they share within each other. You know, like... They are like, like literally within each other. They are in like a union, like a real soul connection here. It's a lot of love there, but just allow it to happen naturally. Please do not fuck each other crazy where y'all done did everything under the sun, moon, and the earth within the first three months. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, just slow and passionate and just, ooh, that is the best, baby. I'm trying to tell you. Give me guidance because I'm liking this. Oh shit, the seven of swords. What y'all do? Who who did something? Someone done did something here that they that they be regretful about that they're ashamed of. 
it's like they feel like they're being sneaky and like they're trying to get away with something. What the fuck is going on with you? And I see these roses here. So I don't know if like someone is like sneaking away and 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 having like a Valentine's Day date and offering like a pinnacle and and, and roses and like a an offer of affection to someone, but they're sneaking to do this. It's like something that they would feel guilty or feel ashamed of, or something that they would have to hide or try to sneak to get away with and it's like you're in constant thought you're in constant like mental turmoil about this deceit this betrayal like this hidden kind of I just heard obsession like this hidden obsession of yours is like um child child now you know better now you know better uh, what is this this the chariot in the reverse. And then the eight of swords. So, and then you got the motherfucking devil right there. I'm the girl child. Listen, let me try to tell you something. So, it's like someone here, and it looks like the man here. I feel like someone's going to sneak. It's, it's, it's going to sneak and go off with someone and get like a hotel room. Have like this whole fancy rendezvous and all of this stuff like that. It's going to be very passionate and everything. But it's like this person in, in their mind and things like. And I don't think that this one right here knows about it. I don't really think that this one knows about it. Because I feel like this one is. Look this one is like enjoying their, their night that they had the night before. Getting up out of the bed, staring off into the sunset, just like, oh, what a wonderful day. She's looking at the pinnacle that this person offered to her, looking at the roses. It was Valentine's Day, and behind her back, look, look at this motherfucker. Like, oh my God, I don't know if I should have did this because I know I got other responsibilities. I got other things going on that this person doesn't know about. Like, I'm really lying. Like, I'm not single or I'm not the person that they think that I am or I'm not serious serious about that offer and you know you know to, like it's just like I don't know like this and, and this is mm -mm. you got the chariot in the reverse and you also got the eight of swords in the reverse and you see on the, in the upright with the eight of swords you see how the devil is lurking in the back right there mm-hmm the eight of swords represents entrapment imprisonment like not being able to see not being able to move not being able to make a clear decision on how to escape or how to get rid of something or how to get away from a situation and then this is someone who was sneaking and is getting away with doing something underhanded and deceitful that clearly that they feel ashamed about and I want to say I feel like this person has some type of temptations or desires or I mean remember I said earlier something about it's like an obsession or something like that it's some type of obsession where it's low vibrational because this person knows that it's wrong this person knows that it's wrong I feel like it's cheating I feel like this person is a cheater or something like that. And it's like this obsessive pattern or something of just like cheating and like getting into like emotional commitments that don't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like instead of this person paying attention and driving the carriage and stuff like that. He's too busy laying, uh, 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 paying attention to the big, to the bitch he got in the back of his car. He ain't even steering the motherfucking wagon. So next thing you know, uh, y'all done motherfucking got into a car accident or some shit. Oh, and then please be careful. Please be careful, y'all. Oh my god, I don't know why the fuck I just said that. Please be careful because this does kind of represent like someone having some type of car trouble or something. So, and it's like. 
Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Because it's like I feel like the car is going to be going on both sides of the road or something like that. It's like you too busy looking back. With your, with this whip and everything like that, like I feel like this person has some type of like lustful sexual addictions or like sexual desire or kink or urge or something like that. I don't know if these are prostitutes or something where it's like, because with that whip, I'm thinking about, and then you got the double right there, and then I'm also thinking, bitch, where's my Lenormand Zach? Uh uh, come on, we ain't even about to do this. Come on now. Cause we could easily just go get the fucking Lenormand deck and not even fucking play around, girl. Cause we ain't even got to do her today. We ain't even got to do her. Because I don't know what it is about this reading. It was like the pictures, instead of me having the words up like I normally do. And again, this is the Under the Rose um, Lenormand deck that you guys have also donated to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for all of y'all's love and donations, baby. Honey, let me try to tell you. And, these, and this deck isn't even that um, expensive. It's like probably like 11, 11 or $12 or something like that. So, so thank you guys so much. But it's like... This person not paying attention because they too busy, like, being seduced with this whip or whatever their kinks or fantasies or, like, to... Let me tell you what the whip mean. Hold on. Let me tell you what this shit mean, bitch, because we ain't even about to do that. We ain't even about to do her. Where's the whip, child? I'm sorry, y'all. The whip means hardship, arguments, conflict, suffering, purging, abuse, anger, pain, repetition, addictions, physical activity, sexual chemistry, passion, intensity. Remember, addictions. Remember the devil? That's what that shit represents. Addictions, anger, abuse. Like, uh. Motherfucker, you better not be abusive. I'll punch her in your motherfucking throat. Like, bitch, we don't play that shit. Come on, ladies. Tell them we don't play that shit. We punch niggas in their chin, nigga, okay? We rearrange chins around here. We don't do that with fucking abuse, nigga. I wish you would motherfucking hit motherfucker with that damn whip, bitch. It's like... And maybe that could be, like, the secret, too. Like, I don't fucking know, bro. Let's see what the fuck is going on. Because it's like... This motherfucker is being sneaky and high and shit. And it's something that this person is lying about and being manipulative and deceitful about. But it's like you exchanging gifts, you're offering your love, your affection, you're offering a bouquet. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like offering love, commitment. And then you gave a pinnacle, too. So, it's like, yeah, it's like having this person is paying for sex. And this person is trying to get out being in traps. You know what I'm saying? Because you see the devil lurked in behind. Like, this person might feel burdened or imprisoned by their lustful temptations and things like that. Like, their addictions and things. And it's like, I don't know if, like, maybe you going to crash your car, turn around looking at prostitutes or some shit like that. But this shit is like, uh-uh. Mm, what is this? The letter. The letter just popped out. So there's going to be some type of communication. I just heard court. Court. Like an official letter. The seven of spades. Oh my God. That represents like a tower. That's like a tower moment. It's like something that you don't see coming. Something that you weren't expecting. You know, the seven of spades is not a good card. Do you understand? That is not fucking good. It's something that when you get this letter, it's going to knock you off your motherfucking feet, baby. You ain't even see this shit coming. This shit is not going to be good. And it's something I feel like you might have got away with in the past. Something that might have to do with that accident. And you might have been imprisoned by the secret or whatever it is, but it's coming out. Okay, y'all just popping out. Damn house for it has something to do with a home it has something to do with a home a property 
a lady, another home, another house, where there's another woman, anchor, y'all, yep. there's going to be some type of communication, it's going to be a letter in regards to this woman in this other house, you have another domestic relationship that you're sneaking away from and that you're hiding from this person right here and you're keeping secret but yet you're offering your love and your affection and even a pinnacle I don't know if there's some type of obligation there if it's some type of fun or, or I feel like this is someone tricking like you like I, I really feel like this is someone tricking and it's like you can't kind of like stop your urge or desire to like stop where you going to like turn back and look at pretty women and get yourself entangled with other pretty women while you still have this situation going on over here. So, ooh, okay, mm -mm. give me one more. Because we just going to do this high level. We going to do this here. Because y'all listen. <laughs> y'all listen. Mm -mm. Let's see. Get me. The three of swords in the reverse. I told you it was a motherfucking third party situation. Oh my gracious Lord Jesus. Listen. This person is definitely having an affair with someone else. And I feel like this is something that they've been getting away with. Um, maybe they've been saying that they've been late to work or that they're having car trouble or they're not able to get somewhere, but it's like, they're always, they're always separating their time in two totally different directions. Like that's why they might be late all of the time. And this person is like entrapped and feels a level of guilt and kind of feels like they're kind of like in a, in a prison because I want to say that this person really wants to be in this connection that's up here. But they're hot. Like, I don't, th I don't think this ever girl know about this shit. But it's like this person is going to spend Valentine's Day with and going to spend money on Valentine's Day on somebody. What is this? The two of pentacles in the reverse? Yeah, someone's going to get dropped. Someone's going to get dropped. And then I want to say, it's like, look, you see how he's like kind of sneaking up on this girl? Like, and just, I'm getting like some real heavy stalker ass type of shit. Like, what the fuck am I getting here, bruh? Because let me look at this. It's like, it's like this one be creeping. On her, it's like he be creeping, you know. Like this one be creeping. And what is this about this little potpourri? Okay, oh my God! So it's like this motherfucker be creeping, right? And whoever house did he be creeping to, or something like that? This person's house has a very distinctive potpourri like smell do you understand what I'm saying so it's like I feel like this is how this person is going to get caught creeping because it this 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 shit is going to get exposed do you understand what I'm saying and that's why I'm saying like whatever has been holds in whatever this person has been feel like they've been entangled and entrapped by this shit's going to be exposed because this person is going to come home Smelling like that motherfucking potpourri, bitch. Do you understand what I'm saying? You see that? You see that potpourri? You see how that that smell is lingering and things? And you see that this is the one. The one that's creeping behind. She has a very distinctive smell in her house. And when this person comes home, the person's clothes smells just like that shit. Let me find out what the fuck is going. And something in the Two of Pentacles means something's being off balance. Something needs to be released, needs to be dropped, needs to let go, so that there can be balance and that you know, like singer singular focus, like having to retune your direction and your train of thought and your planning. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have too much on your plate or something like that, and you. 
might need to release or re-strategize or leave something behind in order to, you know, have a more balanced and stable platform. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Bitch, the snake. The fucking ring, bitch. Come on now. Come on. What in the hell? Girl, this person, I, I feel like, oh, God. We got the snake. We got the ring. So, I, 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 uh, I basically feel like this person is, is, is sneaking around and, like, Like, this person is addicted to women that kind of live the fast life. Women that are, like, very, very, like, seductive and things like that. That, that do trick. You know, with, you know, this man likes to, to trick. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this man has, I want to say, an addiction for, like, the fast life or for, like, fast women. Or, you know, he likes to trick. You know, I want to say that it's an addiction. Like, it's an addiction. You know what I'm saying? And, like, even though I feel like they're proposing things to you and everything, like, this person is still, like, a snake. It's something, you know, the number seven. Like, you need to sit down and, like, analyze and, like, you need to, you need to analyze and, 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 and really pay attention to what's going on because I feel like there's a lot of deceptions. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is tricking you this person is not what they seem is something hidden and something sneaky there's something manipulative like this situation is not going where you think it's going there is a third party situation that is going to be exposed here because this person has some type of sexual addiction addiction of prostitutes hookers something that they feel ashamed about you know and they spend money on these women and they're offering stuff to these women do you understand as well as as possibly to you what is this here the cross like so at the end of the day like this is something that is like destined to come out you know what I'm saying like to uh, you know the cross can also represent like worries like someone uh, praying over something you know what I'm saying like I'm worried over something so I'm praying like I'm I'm, I'm what do I want to say? It's just like... I want to say someone has been kind of like praying that something would get better. Like, because remember it was saying... It was saying something up here about no matter what the current situation is and everything. It was saying that, but... I don't get no good energy down here. I don't think that this is nothing that you should fucking work on. And I don't know what the fuck is on this letter. Because if this these motherfuckers is, is fucking around with goddamn prostitutes. And, and, and this person got sexual addictions. Or just like, bruh. Like, or I don't even know if this person could have just got out of prison or something like that. What is this? The grave. The grave. So it's like. There's going to be some type of death or there's going to be some type of ending. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. Fuck, don't say that. Please don't say that. 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 Please. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I got to say it. I feel like just, um, mm-mm. I don't want to say my nose is burning. I don't want to say it. What the fuck does that mean when your nose starts burning? It's like my nose and like right up in my eyes is burning. But I feel like someone might get um, a letter that um, someone that they know might have died in a car crash. I feel like they were trying to seduce prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? Like they were trying to propose something to a prostitute. And I want to say like they met, they met. They met their fate. Like, not paying attention to where they're driving and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. Maybe this person could have just got out of prison. Oh, God. I don't know if this person could have just got out of prison. 
like this person should have been at home anchored in with this lady here with this ace of spades right there I feel like this person was supposed to be ending an old lifestyle and having a new beginning with this woman you see her smelling the rose I feel like he offered he offered commitment and stuff you know to this woman but yet it's like he was still suffering from his addictions and things like that so I'm kind of getting that there was someone that was might have just might have got out of jail or oh I'm just getting a lot but y'all just please please watch out man because it's like something I'm hearing someone is suffering from an addiction someone is suffering from an addiction someone is suffering from an addiction and whatever it is when this person comes home you can smell it on them so I don't know if it's like because the devil is there so it could be drugs like or you tricking your you tricking off on bitches money uh let me just keep going young because this is crazy yo this is crazy man this is crazy I want to also say that the message still stands for these people up here because like you got to understand what we're I'm pulling energy for a lot of people it's a lot of people in the collective you know so not every part of the reading is going to resonate with you some parts may resonate with you some parts may not resonate with you some parts may resonate with people that you know around you that are going through this and you be like oh I know exactly who the fuck that is you know what I'm saying so like take what resonates I definitely feel like there's someone that but I'm really, honestly, what I was getting up here was a new relationship. And then they're saying, like, let it take its time. Like, don't try to jump and claim each other, like, too fast or something like that. Um, allow it to grow. That's what I was getting. But then this down here, baby. Oh, my gracious. Retreat. Codependency. Okay. So... All right, we got retreat, retreat, codependency. So, I, and, and I'm trying to tell you, I really do feel like someone has some type of codependent drug habit or addiction or something like that that someone doesn't know about. And remember, I'm trying to tell you this is something that this person is hiding. This is something that someone is getting away with. Do you understand what I'm saying? It might be. A sex addiction. They're addicted to hookers, um, and and like ugh, they become a home smelling like something. I feel like it's some drugs or something that someone's smoking or some shit like that. Like you become a home smelling like something, and it's like you hang, this person is hanging around like these these women. I don't know if these are druggy women or something like that. And again, this is addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like this is someone that is messing with someone that has some type of drug addiction. Like I, I'm hearing meth. Like someone, like someone be doing some type of drugs. Cause we not talking about no motherfucking weed. I don't even. That ain't no motherfucking drugs, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? And if a motherfucker is tripping about you coming home smelling like weed, man, fuck that bitch. Go, go fuck that nigga. Go fucking find somebody else. Like, I'm tripping about no goddamn weed. We ain't talking about no weed. We talking about drug drugs, nigga. We talking about drug drugs. You understand what I'm saying? We talking about drug drugs or addiction addictions. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's after this person got drugs and they be dealing with women or men that are in this drug life and that be and that they be smoking with them and stuff like that and they be coming home smelling like crack or they be coming home smelling like meth or they be coming home nodding and shit look for tracks on arms look for all of that shit all of that stuff like oh I heard in the in their on it on their legs and in, in, in their thighs um they shoot it. Some people shoot up in their foot too. Like, and I don't mean to be having this kind of conversation with people, but like, this is some real ass shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is real life shit. And I, I'm not here to give nobody no fairy tale, fantasy 
type of shit. Like, this is real stuff. You understand? This is real life. People really do suffer from addictions. And they might be beautiful people, very attractive, and all of that stuff. But some people have fucking problems. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why they're trying to tell you that you need to retreat. That this person has addictions that they're suffering from. And they have codependencies. You know? And they're going to be codependent on you. You know? And watch who you driving in cars with. I don't even think that this is, has anything to do with you. I feel like you're going to get a letter about something that happened to somebody. Because they're just too busy looking back at hookers and doing something they weren't supposed to be doing. What is this? Children. This person might... And then... Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like this person has a lot of children, too, that they need to take responsibility for. And then it says you deserve love, but this is in the reverse, but not this one. Not this. 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 No. Mm-mm. mm and that's why I just looked at that letter. That letter, it might be another child. Codependency, retreat, children, and you deserve love, but not that love. Mm. Dear Lord, have, have mercy. Please give me, please give me joy. Lord, have mercy. Give me guidance. I don't think I don't think he had a fucking reading this damn juicy in a minute. Like God damn. Drug addictions, children. Fuck. All right, you wanna fall out like that? Let's see. The the divine masculine is the one that is having this issue, y'all. You got free will to decide if you're going to deal with this shit or not. Return. Yeah. You got. It's like you. Listen. You know that this shit is going on with the masculine energy in the situation. Okay. So you have free will to decide if you want to return to this. And if you want to allow this into your life. Like. And this person might just be, you know, to tat it up. Might can't get certain work and things like that because of their tattoos and things like that. Or their lifestyle. But I really just feel like this is something that you have to make a decision on if you're going to allow this to return into your life or not. Um, this person has a lot of codependency. Has a, codependency. Yeah, they said that you would be settling. They said that you would be settling. And for some people, it's like you want to do it for the children. But at the end of the day, do you, I mean, I don't give a damn if this is your child's father or not. Like, I wouldn't want someone that has these type of codependent, toxic behaviors around my children like that. Like, nah, I don't want that type of stuff around my children. Like, no. Nah. But you have a choice. You have a choice. And only thing I can see right there, divine masculine addicts, addictions, your romance. You deserve love in the reverse. Saturday. Like this is a burden. Like this is a heavy cross for you to bear. To I want to say to end this and to like finally put this situation in the grave and let it be over for you. What is this love? Like, yeah, I feel like you really do love this person. And right here, this, this is the, uh, the six of hearts. This definitely is representing the masculine. It's like, and that's number one. Like, that's the one. But I feel like this person is fucked up. Listen, the delay. There's a delay in this coming together because I feel like, uh, right, certain things need separation. It needs space. It needs to end in order for it to be put back together and like this person needs to show you their, their free will that they're willing to return and do what they need to do you know I, and I am relating that to it being up here because I want to say that there is like a deep love connection here 
but you gotta allow it like it says love never claims it just allows and it gives so you know you gotta allow this person to give that shit naturally back to you in return and you gotta allow that's why it's just, it's saying the way you know because it's up to this masculine energy in regards if they're going to continue to keep throwing rocks into the city you know it's like you keep trying to come towards them and this person is throwing rocks at you like go away go away like i'm not ready go away like i'm not done shooting up and doing drugs and like i'm sorry like this motherfucker crazy bro i just ugh like this shit right here this motherfucker is like drugs prostitutes like oh man like this nigga wild as shit man i don't even know why and it's like i, I it, sometimes people be throwing rocks and they be listen you're trying to come towards this person this person is literally throwing rocks at you like get the fuck away from me like that's what i'm getting and please don't get offended by that but it's because you're too good for them it's like they don't like goody people they want fucking they want they want this part they want these girls the type of bitches that do the same shit that they do do you understand what i'm saying like it's like no like no <laughs> Girl, sometimes you gotta let people be what they are. When people show you who they are, believe them the first time, baby. Believe them the first time. Mm mm. And I just, and I'm sorry, I really don't feel like whoever this is is gonna have like a natural death anyway. It's like this person's lifestyle is gonna catch up to them, and I don't, I don't even like saying that. But I'm serious when I say that, like, cause they keep telling me that shit, man. The fuck? That shit ain't cool, man. It says pleasant pastime. It was a pleasant pastime. But look, that was when you can just do... Look, I want to go do hood rat shit with my hood rat friends. Okay, bitch. We ain't... We... Listen. You smart enough. Listen, diamonds represents in spiritual intelligence. Listen, that was a pleasant pastime. Both you know that and that person knows that. You understand? Like, I don't even feel like there's e even no reason for y'all to keep meeting and having a, a discussion with each other about the past do you understand it's like that's the only thing that you can do is like talk about the past you know what i'm saying but what about the future you know this tenderness here needs to be expressed to your children if you guys have children with each other or if, if you just have your own children like this this love this tenderness it needs to be expressed to your children do you understand what i'm saying what is this the visit, but it was in the reverse, so I really don't think that, I don't feel like you're going to get a visit from this lover boy, um, because that is the jack of hearts, like, I don't, I don't think that you're going to get a visit or any type of, you're not going to get what you want, you're not going to get no courting affair, all that stuff like that, no, like, you need to express that love and that energy and that tenderness towards your children, it's no point on, like, let me just keep going. The sweet card. You need to open up your heart to new love. You know what I'm saying? You're having a chance to restart all over again. And I am going to have to turn this into a reverse because it was in a reverse. And I have to take it that way. Like, there's no going to be no revisit where you're going to be exchanging tenderness and pleasantries with people from the past to discuss the past. No. What is this saying? This is the thief card. The thief card, but it was in the reverse. Like, this person is only coming back to you to rob, steal, kill, <laughs> rape, and pillage. Like, this person is like, no. Like, I told you. This person does not want you there. Like, every time you come near this person, they're throwing stones at you. Like, get the fuck away from here. Like, do you understand? Like, you need to take that Ace of Spades card for what it is. That's the death card that is ended. And you need to just get over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the eight represents giving and receiving. It also represents authority. Like, taking responsibility for some shit. Like, recognize some shit for what the fuck it is. Like, what you want... What you want someone like this to come around and steal your energy. And to, like, cause a whole bunch of havoc and shit into your life. Listen, then this is the next card. The nine of fucking spades. This person is going to be... Ain't gonna do nothing but bring fright and terror into your life. You wanna be going to sleep every day wondering where your money at, where your man at. Do you got any STDs? Like, is this motherfucker coming home? Like, if this person is going to wreak havoc on your life. I'm trying to tell you that this motherfucker is suffering from addictions and all of that shit. Listen, this person is going to impede the progress of the pro of the of the 
progression in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is this something that you need to understand? Listen, the Eight of Diamonds means that you need to take recognition and recognize and do inventory of everything that you have, all your assets that you have, and pay attention to it because it can be gone just that quick by letting a fucking thief walk through your door. Someone that's going, to just, that's going to end up being a complete fucking nightmare in your life because you don't want to recognize a spade for a fucking spade. This motherfucker is bad news, baby. Do you understand? It's, this motherfucker is bad news. A last card is the soldier. You better step up and you better protect everything that you have. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't feel like this is someone that you really want to invite back into your life, baby. This is crazy. Anyway, listen, y'all. This has been y'all reading. Because I feel like someone was about to... Someone was about to... Sir, someone was about to do something real stupid. And you was going to find out that this motherfucker was a whole crackhead or a whole fucking junkie and shit. And got kids with fucking crack whores and shit. And be fucking prostitutes raw. And oh my God. Like, I can't. I gotta go. I love y'all. Y'all. <laughs> y'all. Y'all done did me today, okay? Peace. <laughs> Y'all hit that like button if this resonates. And if this is resonating for somebody and you know this shit sounding like your folks, please send this video to them. Be like, get your shit together. Thank you. Please and thank you. All right, bye.